What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. In the last part, we defeated the third Elite Four member, Flint, who is standing here in defeat. So mad that we defeated him. But the Elite Four, obviously, is not over yet because we've only defeated three. And it is time for arguably the toughest member of the Elite Four, Lucian, who uses Psychic Types. And man, I just dread this battle every time I play through the Sinnoh games. But here we go, we're just gonna wing it. So Lucien, he's kind of like a nerdy dude. He reads a lot of books or something, I think. I don't really know. And he uses psychic types. So that's when you know he's just a big time nerd, yeah. Look, he's even holding a book too. But that does not mean he's bad at Pokemon battling because his team is very difficult to defeat in my opinion. He begins with his level 53 Mr. Mime. It knows Psychic, Light Screen, Reflect, and Thunderbolt. So, Luckily, he can't even hit me with Thunderbolt since I'm starting here with Moto Moto. However, what he will love to do is that. Mr. Mime will just about always go for Reflect and Light Screen the first two turns of the battle, which is very unfortunate. But, wow, Crunch actually did more than I thought, even with the Reflect, so that's good. And we get some uh, chip damage with Sandstorm. And, yeah, now he's just going to go for Psychic because he knows he's going to die on this turn, so... Honestly, Mr. Mime went a lot better than I thought. Ooh, you did get a special defense drop. I don't like that. But yeah, it setting up Reflect and Light Screen can be really annoying because Mr. Mime's not too difficult to take down, but it's just with the Reflect and Light Screen, Lucian's other mods are going to be so much more annoying to take down, including this guy, which is, of course, Probopass. And I'm a little worried about this guy because... It's level 56, and it knows Psychic, Focus Blast, Recover, and Energy Ball. So, not only is it annoying and it can heal itself, but it literally has great type coverage because I can't go out to Hippowdon, Probopass, or Bebarrel thanks to Energy Ball and um, Focus Blast. And, yeah, I also just can't really go out to Infernape because of Psychic. Or I can't go out to Glaceon because of Focus Blast again. So, my best shot here is Wormadam. Not really sure how well this is going to go. Unfortunately, our only bug type move is Bug Bite, which isn't that powerful. I wish we could get something like Mega Horn, but I don't think Wormadam even gets that. Now, we do have the chance to go for a Tract. That actually might be the move. Alakazam does have a really high special attack. I'm hoping we just live one. Please, Wormadam, it's a crit. Oh, you got to be kidding, dude. You have to be kidding. Oh, that's so annoying. That's like the second time I've been one-shot because of a crit. All right, well, I mean, here's my only option. I'm going to sack off Glaceon here, and I'm going to max revive um, Wormadam. So, uh, yeah, that's very unfortunate. We really need to get off that attract, and then I can kind of just, like, heal stall it until, you know, he gets immobilized. Oh, you did miss. Not that that really helps us, because I think you'll outspeed me anyways. But, um... Yeah, Wormadam is really just my best option for this thing. I guess we could go for Toxic, but at the same time, he's most likely going to end up using a full restore, and he landed Focus Blast anyways, so it does not matter. But yeah, in my opinion, I feel like Alakazam or Espeon is like his two hardest mons to kill. That's just, you know, from my experience. I don't know if you guys think differently, but their type coverage is just really good. Okay, so Reflect War Off, that's nice. I still don't think a Bug Bite will one-shot but it should do a good chunk. We first need to just get off this attract. That would be so good. Don't crit me with Psychic. Now, if Psychic still kills me and it's not a crit, then we are in a big time trouble. Okay, there we go. We get off attract. So now I'm just going to spam some Hyper Potions until he gets immobilized. Now, I'm not sure if Lucian's AI is going to be, you know, smart enough to switch out. If that's the case, then that's also going to be pretty bad. But we are just going to have to wait and find out. Hopefully you get immobilized like right here. That would be amazing. I'm sure it's going to take like three turns or something because my luck is just bad. Let's see, Alakazam. Oh, no, nah, of course you get the psychic off. Yeah, of course you would, you know. I don't even know what the odds are for you getting immobilized. But gosh, I feel like whenever I'm immobilized, it happens way too often. Now, the sandstorm is going to keep on going. So I guess that's slowly whittling away at him and honestly maybe after this turn like a bug bite could one-shot him who knows 
because that sandstorm is taking it down to, you know, it's it's getting there, it's getting towards yellow. Let's see though, please don't break through Alakazam. Oh my gosh, dude, <laughs> just get immobilized, that's all I need. Then I've got the opening to go for Bug Bite, come on. I mean, in the meantime, Sandstorm's doing some damage, but you can just see how annoying this thing can be, and you know, even with a Dark type out here, it has Focus Blast, man, like it is ready. I guess a Ghost type could be your best option, but unfortunately we do not have a Ghost type. All right, here we go. Attempt at number three. Come on, third time's the charm. You gotta get immobilized on the third time. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, hey, if you look at it another way, I guess we're also stalling out his PP for Psychic because then he's not gonna be able to hit us hard with Focus Blast or Energy Ball, but I just need him to get immobilized once. That is it. Just get immobilized, Alakazam. I swear, like, I just have the worst luck. But I feel like definitely at this range, without the Reflect, I think a Bug Bite can one-shot this man. And there we go. Finally. Okay. That is perfect. Now, I don't really care if you get immobilized on this turn as long as you don't crit me. Let's go for Bug Bite. It would be nice if you got immobilized, you know. That would be cool. Oh, no. Of course you go for Psychic. I swear if this crits, I might just have to freaking walk out of the room. All right. Good. Now, you're in the yellow. I feel like Bug Bite will kill from there. Yes, okay. Whew, that is one of his toughest mons down, but we still have three left, which sounds freaking awful. But luckily, not all of them have a, you know, grass-type move for Hippowdon, including this guy, Espeon. So, I'm gonna go back out into Hippowdon, I think? Actually, hmm... You know what? We're going to go into Bucky first. Bucky's probably going to end up dying, but I want to get Hippout onto full health. I feel like that is necessary. And Espeon's level 55. It has the ability synchronized, so I wouldn't recommend, you know, putting a status on it because that status will bounce right back at you. It knows Psychic, Quick Attack, Signal Beam, and Shadow Ball. So another pretty diverse moveset. It's ready for your uh, Dark types with Signal Beam and your ghost types with shadow ball and you can see how strong it is another crit <laughs> come on what is with that i mean luckily i'm not really using the barrel too much but I, I don't know i feel like i've had to sack off mons more than i need to now hopefully you don't crit me here and then crunch might be able to one shot let's see oh we get the quick claw pop come on hip out on one shot baby one shot baby you've been like the mvp of this battle so far. I mean, Wormadam did good, but Hippowdon, ooh, close, 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 close. All right, so from here, let's see, Psychic, oh, it's like just under half. Let's see, no, Sandstorm's not going to finish him off. Oh, it's so close. All right, I'm going to go for another Crunch since I know he's going to heal, and then, I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to heal. We might just have to stall out his Psychics. I'm not really too sure. I don't know what I want to do. I was kind of hoping Crunch would just kill it immediately. If we got a defense drop, that would have been so good. All right. Well, uh, hey, if he's not going to use a full restore, then the Sandstorm will eventually kill him. So as long as you don't crit me with Psychic, you're eventually going to go down. I'm curious to see if he's going to use another full restore, which if he does, I'm fine with that. At least he's getting rid of all of them now. And he's not. He goes straight for Psychic. Okay, so... Yeah, eventually the Sandstorm's just going to take him out, probably within the next two turns. And, ooh, that must have been a lower roll. Okay. Um, I think to play it safe, he's going to die anyways. I'm going to heal again. We um, we definitely don't want to lose Hippout on here with still two more mons to go. So, let's see. No crit. Come on. No crit with Psychic. And we are going to be good. Come on. If it starts going like way below yellow, that's when you know it's a crit. All right, good. So Sandstorm finishes this guy off and now Lucian is down to his last two mons. I'm curious to see who he'll go to. I'm expecting his ace. Let's find out though. It is going to be, yep, his ace, Gallade. Now Gallade is a psychic fighting type. So along with, you know, um, well, I guess it's not weak to bug anymore, but along with... Oh, it's also not weak to dark. Along with ghost, it's also now weak to flying, which is good. 
However, I don't even have a flying type Pokemon on my team. So we're going out to Benny here. And gosh, this is actually kind of rough because this thing's at level 59. It knows Psycho Cut, Drain Punch, Leaf Blade, and Stone Edge. So it has a move for Infernape, has a move for Hippowdon, has a move for Glaceon, has a move for Ribeiro, has a move for Probopass, and has a move for Wormadam. Um, we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> we are going to see how this goes. Now, what would be perfect right here as we heal up is if he misses Stone Edge and then we get off a tract. But the chances of that happening are like super duper slim. So let's just see. You go for Stone Edge. Of course he lands at turn one. Why wouldn't he? Now, luckily, Stone Edge only has five PP. Oh, we lived. Oh, no, but our own Sandstorm is probably going to take us out. No. Oh, that's so annoying. I was just expecting to die to the Stone Edge. Okay, so where do I go from here then? I feel like Infernape's the only Mon that's going to outspeed, maybe? I mean, Gallade isn't the slowest thing ever. I really need Infernape for as the last Pokemon, but we can always use, like, a Max Revive. So, we're going to go to Infernape here. Oh, that's right! We do have Shadow Claw. And we do outspeed. I totally forgot we had Shadow Claw. Now, if we could get a crit, that might be enough to kill. Which we do! Oh my gosh, George, you are so clutch. George, you are actually so clutch. Curious George, this is why one this is why you were one of my favorite cartoons growing up. <laughs> Alright, so this works out perfectly because Infernape is staying in for his final mon and probably one of his most annoying, and that is Bronzong, just because Bronzong is so tanky with both special defense and physical defense, and not only that, but it has one weakness because it's a ground psychic type, or sorry, it's a Steel Psychic type, but it's immune to ground thanks to Levitate, so your best bet are Fire type moves. However, this thing has Earthquake, so it has a counter towards your Fire types. So it's not really going to deal a huge chunk of damage to you, even with Psychic. Psychic, I don't know, like, Bronzong has good special attack, but not as good as, like, Alakazam or Espeon. However, if it starts to get Calm Minds up, that's when it can start dealing damage. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't get buffed by the Sandstorm, and I don't know if Lucian's going to heal. He is. Okay, so with the Calm Mind up now, please tell me Flamethrower still gets it to yellow. If it does, then we are home free, but I don't know if it is. This thing's special defense is high. Oh, it does. That is, that's it, man. That's wraps. That is wraps on the final Elite Four battle. George will get to level 56. Dude. That freaking crit Shadow Claw. I know it has a boosted crit chance, but that was so clutch. That was actually so clutch. All right, so there we go. We took down Bronzong, and down goes Lucian. Once again, in my opinion, the toughest Elite Four member by far in the Sinnoh region. But that means there's only one trainer left, and that is, of course, Cynthia, and she will be even tougher. So we better be ready for that battle. However, that battle's not taking place until tomorrow's episode. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. And until then, deuces.